Alright, so today I'm going to be teaching everybody how to ride a bike. And if the audio is not good, you will hear a voiceover. Because I don't have a mic yet. <laughs> so there's a few things to keep in mind when you're going to be riding a motorbike. No, it's not as hard as people say. The key point is getting a bike that is big enough for you. Because if you get one that's too big, it's not going to go well. So right, the basics of riding a bike. First, learn how to keep yourself up on a push bike. If you can ride a push bike, you're on a good track. It means you, you, you know, two wheels, two wheels. So make sure you can do that first. And now there's four things that you'll have to be using your hands and your legs for. You'll have both your hands on the handlebars. You'll have one foot on here and one foot on here. Um, typically with manual bikes should be the same as I'm showing you with the exception of a few things which I will tell you along the way such as your left hand this is your clutch so obviously when changing gears you pull your clutch in change the gear let it out um, your right hand this is your throttle and this is your front brake and that, that, that's what your hands will be doing. Plus you've got your indicator here on the, on the left. Um, your left foot controls the gears. So obviously, so your left foot controls gears. Um, I'll put a diagram on the screen so you can see how it works. It's, you go one gear down, then the rest of them, you have to go up with your foot. So one gear down, then the rest are up. Um, with the exception of neutral neutral is from gear one which is one down it's half or one up which obviously you'll you'll see this on the diagram that i'm going to put on the screen my bike is a six speed so it's got six gears your bike could have four gears could have five typically you'll have six on a geared bike um and your right foot this is your back brake which you know you push that down brake comes on um the one thing I would keep in mind when riding is do not be scared because if you're scared you will come off <laughs> you've just you've got to have that confidence of I can do it because if you haven't it's just not going to go well all right so those are the four things that you have to keep in mind when you're going to be riding your bike for me when I started riding I was self-taught because I already had my CBT so I could just you know jump on this if i wanted to but obviously i'd never ridden a gear bike so i was self-taught through the uh the old youtube videos which is why i'm making this one so i can teach you guys what i wish i knew and i started riding so now let's just get on and have a go i think so the first thing you're gonna want to do start your bike and make and when, once you start it you can see it's already in neutral so once your bike started the first thing you're gonna want to do squeeze in your clutch and put the bike into first gear if you hear that clunk that, that that means that it's dropped into first gear and the neutral lights come off on the dash so i'll show you that again for you but just up here so i'll squeeze in my clutch push it into first and the neutral light comes off and now when you're in gear you never want to let go of this clutch unless you're riding with throttle on because um, if you do let go of the clutch you will stall the bike and that, you just don't want to do that and so the first thing you've got to do now is find where the clutch bites so if i let this clutch out slowly you'll hear the bike begin to change in its tone once it begins to engage the clutch which you, you will hear it did you hear that yeah it slowly like dipped down a little bit i'll get a bit closer and the bike slowly begins to pull away from me as I'm letting that out, see? So that will be when your gear is gonna start to engage. So that, that's around the time you wanna start putting on just a little bit of throttle so you can get yourself moving. All right, so now we're gonna get on a slow moving and hopefully you guys can hear me while we're going. If you do start giving it too much throttle, just be calm, squeeze in your clutch and you will slowly come to a stop and you can use your front brake and your back brake to do that, just don't panic. Um, so once we start going here, 
you'll see the bike just wants to go right and now we're slowly moving there we go we've let the clutch fully out you've officially started riding your motorbike and now when i want to come to a stop i'll slowly squeeze in the clutch let go of the throttle and pull in my brake all right now we'll go back to the place we were over there you can use your back brake while you're riding to um, increase like your uh, precision to make the bike a bit more controllable so there we go we've managed first gear and remember yeah when you come into a stop ooh, we're rolling when you come into a stop slowly squeeze in your clutch let go of the throttle and then put on your brake and it is as easy as that which it might sound complicated at first once you've done it a few times it will just become a fluid movement to the point where you'll do it without thinking um and now i'm going to show you guys how to move up into the second gear which what you want to, to get into the second gear while riding you'll be riding in your first gear me personally i like to get up to about five thousand six thousand revs and then what i'll do i'll squeeze my clutch in yep and my foot will be under the gear thing like that under the gear stick so as i squeeze in my clutch then i flick my foot up flick it up and that'll engage the second gear and then once i'm in the second gear you let out your clutch again it's a bit more throttle and then that'll start you going in your second gear and to get into gear three you get to around your 5000 rev mark for my bike and then i'll just rinse and repeat the same action so now we'll go over there move up into the second gear and then i'll come back over here and we can talk about down shifting so first thing I'm going to do, drop the bike into the first gear, squeeze, squeeze in the clutch, drop it in, then I'll position my foot underneath, nice so I'm ready, and right, I'll wait for this bed to go. Right, so let out my clutch, give it some gas. Once I get up to about 5,000 revs, squeeze in, up the gear, and back out. And as I'm letting that clutch out, I'm giving it more throttle. It's like a fluid movement. You do it simultaneously at the same time. So the third gear, 5,000, and up like that. While you're riding your motorbike there's a few things you'll have to know about you've got your kill switch which in an emergency if you need to kill the engine quickly without turning your key you'll simply just press that and while this is engaged you cannot start the bike to start the bike you need to do that and then it starts yep right and now another thing you need to know this is for your indicators so if i flick it left you'll see a light comes on on the dash to say that my indicators are on and then you'll see that indicator going and then to cancel it you push it in and to use my right indicator i'll push it to the right you'll see it comes on on the dash and now my right indicator is blinking and for when it's at night and i need to see further this is your high beam as you engage that a light comes on on the dash as you can see just there and for my bike only my right my only my right headlight is lit up and then when i engage high beam my left one comes on and the right one turns off so now we're going to cover downshifting which to downshift on a motorbike say you're coming up to a traffic light you were just in gear three what you want to do squeeze in your clutch slowly apply the brakes and as you're coming to the stop downshift down into gear one and when you're in gear one 
you can just hold your clutch in, hold your brake on while you're waiting for the traffic. So now I'll just show you an example of uh, dial shifting. So now we're in gear three. Say we want to come up to a stop just at the end of this road. I'm going to squeeze in my clutch, apply the brakes and simply tap down on my gear lever until uh. so yeah tap down on the gears until you get down into gear one and the one final thing that i need to teach you guys is how to get your bike into neutral.